Hello everyone and happy summer! We've been doing lots of little road trips or day trips lately and I get so incredibly inspired by the fields, especially when there's really noticeable patterning and patchwork effect and I just have to paint it. So if you saw my recent video about using a limited palette with gouache, this is that exact palette. So we'll be using that today and the goal of today is to do a very muted, more earthy tones, not use super intense pigments, practice mixing more earthy versions of all the greens. To start off, I mixed a gray with my perylene black and permanent alizarin crimson and it's very watered down with just a tiny bit of white in there. And the whole point is just to get a nice flowy stormy sky. I use directional brush strokes for the clouds, but I mostly just tilt the paper and let it kind of flow around where it wants to. For the fields, I start off with a diluted version of greens and browns, not really caring how they look because these are all going to be covered up by more gouache. I just like getting a base down before I jump into all the textures and details. Since I'm focusing on the patchwork effect of the fields, I'm definitely going to make very prominent distinctions between the different fields. So I might separate them by tree lines or fences or rock walls, whatever I feel like. <laughs> and I'm going to shift between a lot of different greens and a lot of different types of brush strokes. So sometimes I'll let the under color show through a little bit. So I'll use a dry brush texture and just dust some gouache over the color that was already down. And visually those two will sort of mix together. And then in other areas, I'll use more solid colors. The whole point is just to get a lot of variety. My trees are just little dollops of dark green with hints of lighter green on top. And with a very light touch, I'll just add some bushes between some of the fields as well. I would love to know what kind of scenes you guys want to see me paint with this limited palette. I have a lot of ideas, but I'm totally open to suggestions. These aren't meant to be super thorough tutorials. It's just to show my process and maybe give you guys some insights to how you can use a limited palette to mix a wide variety of colors. So if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more in the future, subscribe before you go. All right, I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.